It's Jack from B&T McFarland. Today we're going over the M7060 from Kubota, so let's get into it. We're looking at the M7060 today from Kubota, so it sits inside of the M60 series. So this is the smallest class of utility tractor that Kubota offers. Inside of this lineup, you have the M6060, M7060, 8560 and then the 9960. So in those classes you have 60 horse, 70 horse, 85 and about 100 horsepower tractors. So this one here it's definitely the most popular one that we sell and we're going to go into a couple reasons today why that is and what applications you would expect to see this in. So this one here it's a bit of a unique application. I hope you can see right away it has these ginormous turf tires on them. So it's going to a golf course and they're actually going to use this for some fairway maintenance mowing some fairways and then some other tasks around their property but most of the time we get we see this tractor get sent into a hobby farm application someone with 50 to 100 acres who's just doing it for their own personal use whether you have hay to bale or some light agricultural work to do this is a really good sized tractor for that and it's not going to break the bank like some larger 100 150 horse tractors that you would see and then we also sell these with a cab into commercial snow applications a lot of commercial guys they do like a little bit heavier tractor to get through the snow rather than going with the l6060 they might opt for this because it's a little bit quicker on the road and it's again heavier to get through some uh, thicker snow in this ottawa weather so we're going to start up front and talk about the loader on this tractor once you get into the utility class of tractors from Kubota, you end up having a couple different choices when picking your loader. This here is the Kubota manufactured loader. So this is again the most popular one that we sell on this size of tractor. But on some larger tractors like in your M6 series, M7 series, that's when you're going to start seeing more and more aloe loaders. So they're a third party manufacturer, they're really, really reliable loaders that go on all sorts of manufacturers and Kubota uses their loaders as well. You can get an aloe loader for this, but we typically sell them with the Kubota loader. Up at the front, you do have a couple of choices. You can again get the Euro or the aloe style quick attach on the front like this one here, or you can get skid steer style quick attach. So we see a lot of customers, they do go for the skid steer style quick attach because they have other smaller tractors that use that same hookup. But if you're on the other side of the story where you have larger tractors that use the aloe style hookup, then you can get the loader equipped with that as well. One unique thing that starts happening on a loader of this size is the positioning of the pin back here. So with Kubota loaders, you can actually choose it between a height position and a power position. So the top pin here increases your lift height by about a foot. But if you need more power out of your loader, you can move that pin into the bottom slot and you're going to get a lot more lift capacity out of your front end loader. Talking about the engine on the M7060, it is a 74 horsepower, four cylinder turbocharged diesel engine from Kubota. And yes, it does have DPF and regeneration systems, but this is kind of another unique boundary. So we talk a lot about how when you cross 26 horsepower, you start having the DPF systems and the regeneration systems. So there's a lot of tractors that sit at about 25 horsepower, but again, there's another boundary at 75 horsepower. So you'll see a lot of tractors and excavators and construction equipment sit right at 74 horsepower because once you cross 75 horsepower, that's when you start having to have def fluid. So this again, this is the biggest tractor you can get from Kubota that doesn't require the use of def fluid. If you go into the M8560 and 9960, then those tractors, they will have def fluid. Taking a look at the back of the tractor, this is where you're gonna hook up all of your implements and the main reason why you would choose an M7060. When you choose a tractor like the L6060, it fits inside of the compact tractor lineup, so it's gonna be a lighter tractor. It's not gonna be able to handle the same sorts of implements out the back. This tractor, it weighs about 5,000 pounds on its own, so it does have a much heavier rear end and a much bigger three-point hitch system, so you can hook up some larger balers, some plows, some cultivators, anything that you would use in an agricultural setting, this tractor will be able to handle. And the PTO horsepower on it, it's about 64 PTO horsepower, horsepower out the back, which is probably Probably the biggest reason why people choose that track this tractor if you're shopping around for a utility tractor you might not know but once you get over 60 PTO horsepower you actually don't have to pay any tax on it so if you're looking at this tractor it could be a huge benefit because the price might be higher but then again you don't have to pay any tax so you do save that 13% here in Ontario 
Keeping on the theme of savings, if you do decide to get this tractor, as long as every implement that you get on the same invoice as the tractor is not subject to tax, but if you were to buy a loader down the road for it or any kind of other implements down the road for it that aren't on the same invoice as the tractor itself, then those would be subject to, to tax. Even if you're using this in a snow application, the blade, the blower, anything you get for it for snow is not subject to tax. And we're gonna talk about a few more things back here. So it does have the deluxe telescopic lower links. So it makes it a little bit easier when you're hooking up those really, really big implements. Remotes on this tractor, they are not standard. It comes with one set standard. So you do have to add that second set if you had an implement that does require both sets of rear remotes. You can add a third set as well. Back here too, it's when you start seeing the electrical hookups at the back. Cause if you're using a round baler or any kind of farming, uh, farming equipment, a lot of the time it does have heads up displays or displays that sit up on the operator station. So you do plug in the electrical outlets back there. Now we're up on the operator station on the M7060. It's a really nice experience up here. Even if you get the ROPS model like this one here, there's tons of features. The seat is very comfortable. You have all your switches right here that go with your regeneration system. And then over here you have your two remote setups with your three point hitch controls back here. You do have your speed control as well as your loader control stick over here. But one thing that does make this tractor a little bit daunting for a first time tractor buyer, say you just purchased a hobby farm and you need something to go plow the fields, this tractor, it does have a bit of a learning curve to it because it's not gonna be hydrostatic like you would see on all the compact tractors. Once you get into the utility size tractors, the hydrostatic transmission, doesn't really work because it, uh, these tractors, they weigh so much more. So the hydrostatic transmission just doesn't cut it on this size of tractor. So you do move into the hydraulic shuttle shift. It's not completely gear driven. So you don't have to worry about shifting gears with your PTO and everything. So it's still a live PTO where your PTO is independent from your transmission itself. But if you're not used to shifting gears on a tractor, or using the forward and reverse shuttle over here on the column, it can be a little bit intimidating and does take some time to get used to. Lastly, we're gonna talk about some tire choices that you can pick on the M7060. Right here, like I mentioned, this is a pretty unique setup. We'll probably never see this again for a very long time, is a turf tire setup. You can see just how wide they are, especially those rear ones. So they're gonna be able to float on top of the fairways at the golf course. But for most people, you're gonna choose some kind of ag tire, uh, preferably a radial ag tire because they do last a little bit longer than the bias ply and they're just an overall better tire. So ideally the setup for this one is you would have um, agricultural tires, so R1 ag tires with a cast center disc in the back because it weighs a little bit more. This tractor, if you're doing any kind of farming with it, it's all about the weight. You really want a heavy back end in order to pull those implements through the field or whatever you might be doing. Again, if you're using this for snow, you can get Nokian snow tires, just like you would see on the L6060, as well as some of the bigger M series tractors. So those are an option for this as well, if you are looking to clear driveways with this tractor. If you're in the market for a tractor that's a little bit bigger than a compact tractor where your tasks just aren't cutting it anymore with an L6060 or any kind of larger compact tractor, then this M7060 is an excellent option. Whether you're a, a hobby farmer, a light landscaper, or you're looking to do commercial snow applications with this tractor, and you need a heavier tractor with a heavier rear end or a stronger loader to do whatever it is you might be doing around your property, or if you're a commercial snow guy, you need a faster road speed to go from laneway to laneway or parking lot to parking lot, then again, this is an excellent option. And as always, I just want to thank you for watching. And if you need help with parts, sales, or service, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.